Hey, I'm going through the fence in my side side yard now, side garden I should say. There's no grass also here. There's some chrysanthemums. I didn't cut them back this year, so they're going to be blooming in the next week or so. There are two hot lip salvia plants that are planted right here. They do not overwinter in the ground. I can overwinter them in pots. Uh, I've done it, but I think it's just as easy to get them in spring and plant them outside and I think actually they're better plants when you do that they get fuller. This plant right here along the fence is a lemon verbena. I wish I could rub the leaf that you could smell it because it just smells wonderful and I see that it's gonna bloom. It gets these little tiny white blooms. It smells so good and beside that is a salvia. Um, I bought that this year and it's supposed to be a perennial salvia. This is a piece of it. Um, a piece broke off from the mother plant and I rooted it and now I have two plants. I have uh, three pots of Sandra Elizabeth, a very late blooming daylily that I dug out that was on the other side of the fence and I didn't want the deer to eat it. So now I have to find a place to put those. I have another uh, lantana, not lantana, um, hydrangea back in the corner that was a seedling uh, that I transplanted over here and there's also um, cardinal flower or cardinal vine in the pot I bought that for two dollars uh, several weeks ago and decided to see if I could grow it and it's blooming um, this is Roman red salvia right here this was uh, one that I overwintered um, I'm not sure if I'll do that again um, Hopefully I can find Roman red salvia because I really like it. Uh, the, I have two that overwintered in pots in my basement, uh, which I could do again, but we'll see. I have a Coreopsis here in a pot. I have to find a place to put that. But I just wanted to be able to keep tr keep on, on, on top of, uh, you know, pinching off the, the spent blooms like this so that I could continually have uh, flowers blooming on it. This plant right here is actually supposed to be a shrub, a pentis shrub, a pentis, yeah, but it hasn't bloomed yet, so I'm a little disappointed with that. Kind of looks like it might get some, I think it, it's going to be a very late blooming pentis uh, bush. And this plant here is called Vermillionaire Kufia. Excellent for hummingbirds. Uh, bees also like it. Uh, I would really recommend that. if. If you only have to have, uh, you only have room for one or two plants and you're trying to attract hummingbirds, get this one. It's a Vermillionaire Kufia. I think Proven Winners is the um, hybridizer of that. This plant right here is another one of my favorite lantanas. It's Luscious Citrus Blend. And I will definitely try to overwinter this and maybe take some cuttings because uh, you can see how colorful it is. Um, butterflies just love it and so do hummingbirds and this is Dallas Lantana this one was overwintered and I really like Dallas Red also um, it's different than the Luscious Citrus Blend um, I have this thing about Lantanas I just really like them here are some snapdragons uh, that I bought recently and uh, they were seedlings and, and I bought them at a nursery for like a quarter a piece couldn't, couldn't pass them up there's a daylily back there called Last Dance, and there's another one over there called Pumpkin Time. It's not blooming today, um, and there are some Japanese anemones that are also blooming right now. Those are late bloomers. This lantana, I don't know the name of it, I just call it Tangerine Lantana. One of the secrets to, not really a secret, but one of the things that I do is pinch off the spent flower bud. That way they don't go to seed and you get more blooms. I do that on all my lantanas. You see here, um, right here, it looks like there's little peas. Those are seeds. In Pennsylvania, there's no problem with lantanas being invasive. This is a pot of basil that I use for cooking. That smells wonderful. This is a pot of zinnia that I grew. Um, I just love the colors on it. I 
I know the bees really like it and um, there's a pot here another pot of lantana this is a mounding type of a lantana and again you want to try to pick off the spent blooms before they go to seed and back there is a coleus with some nasturtium they're planted together in one pot and this is cardinal flower next one to it is parsley and right here is salosia with brazilian verbena um, i didn't plant the brazilian verbena it just happened to their seeds happened to be in the pot where I, that i planted um, the salosia in the salosia is another thing where if you just pick off this is going to seed pick that off and your flowering your flowers will be much better um, I need a scissors for that but anyway you get the idea right here the coreopsis is, is going to seed um, I'll probably just shear those off and here there are three uh, salvias purple and bloom black and blue and there's one hot lip salvia and that one was overwintered and you'll see the difference between that one and one planted in the ground in the next video uh, to be continued.